23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. Just before 7 o'clock, the USGS reported an earthquake that you may have felt here in Kern County. The USGS reported a 5.5 magnitude earthquake 13 miles outside of Ridgecrest in the Searles Valley. Of course, this coming almost 11 months since the 6.4 and 7.1 quakes from last summer. At this time, there are no reports of damages in the area. Now, as you remember, it was Dr. Lucy Jones who led the way following the Ridgecrest earthquake last summer's. Uh, last summer, she tweeted shortly after the quake tonight, saying an earthquake, a 5.5 magnitude at the very southern end of the 2019 Ridgecrest aftershock zone. This is a large late aftershock. Do you remember that I said these are common? Of course, we'll continue to follow the latest on that online at turn to 23.com and tonight on 23 ABC News at 11. While well, night six of protests are continuing in downtown Bakersfield, there were also two events earlier today, a kneel-in at Mill Creek Park and a silent prayer walk that started near Maya Cinemas. All events have been peaceful this evening. This is the sixth night of protests. Someone, of course, speaking out from in front of the Bakersfield Police Department headquarters. There are hundreds of people there tonight. You can stay up to date on this event and this protest. You can check it out on any of our streaming platforms and, of course, on our 23 ABC Facebook page. And today, after seeing some triple digits, mainly in the desert areas, we are expecting triple digits again for Thursday in the valley and desert areas. So be sure to stay hydrated, wear light colored clothing, and never leave people or pets in a vehicle. But the good news is a cooling trend is expected to begin Saturday, bringing much cooler temperatures. Temperatures will be around 15 degrees below average for June. Along with cooler weather, we are monitoring an increase of wind speed, so breezy conditions through wind-prone areas. But taking a look at the future cast model, you see clearing skies out there for the past few days. We have had some cloudy skies out there, but skies are expected to clear for tomorrow and Friday with a little bit of cloud cover picking back up on Saturday. Here's a look at our Futurecast wind model. We're monitoring some breezy to windy conditions in the valley areas and the desert areas. However, we're not looking at blustery wind speeds. However, by Friday evening, wind speeds could pick up above 30 miles per hour in Mojave and 28 miles per hour in Jawbone Canyon around Friday evening. That is something that we will also continue to monitor. For tonight, forecast lows we're looking at 72 in Bakersfield 72 as well in Ridgecrest 67 in California City 56 in Fraser Park and 72 in Mojave tomorrow's forecast highs you see a lot of those triple digits out there 105 for Bakersfield McFarland and Button Willow 100 in California City and 77 for the high in Fraser Park so again the next few days will be warm out there but by Saturday we're looking at that cooling trend to begin and temperatures will significantly cool with Sunday being the coolest day of this weekend but for tomorrow Temperatures are expected to be warm as well, even in our mountain communities. For Kern River Valley, you're looking at a high of 97. Tashby, you'll have a high of 89. And Fraser Park, a high of 84. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23com